What is going on guys? Jack of the Zombie here and we are doing a little Christmas edition. I wasn't actually going to uh, be doing anything with this at all like I asked her before I opened any of my gifts if I should be <laughs> recording for it and she was like no this is our time I don't want you recording any of this. <laughs> so I'm like fine whatever YouTube hater and like then after I opened my one two three four five gifts I decided I had six gifts. I decided I had because there's a she got me a screen protector for my touch screen on my camera and uh, so that one's already in place you guys can't see that one <laughs> but uh, there were things that have to do with my computer on a major level so I definitely wanted to start showing some of them off we have dog here too I hope you guys can see her um, some of the things that are not to do with the uh, the computer are these Boop. she got me some pokey pants Face editor. Here we go. Pokemon trainer pants. Because <laughs> I am the best Pokemon trainer ever. I thought I would go good with your shirt. I got you too. Yeah! Because um, she got me a Pokemon shirt also. And um, then she got me these, which I cut trying to get the box open. Which is a flex LED strip. She got me 32? 32 feet. Yep. 32 feet of uh, LED strips for me to stick on anything, which if it will focus back on the box. Are you kidding me? There we go. I am going to be putting them probably all along my computer desk on the underside. Mm -hmm. Then she got me a license plate cover, which says <laughs> zombie response <laughs> vehicle. If I can block her face with one side and mine with the other, that's not gonna work. But either way, you guys can kind of see what it says. <laughs> zombie response vehicle. So that's going on the back of my, my shiny new car. Make and then, better than what it and is. then she got me this, which... Take that off. Put it on me. Ah. I'll take it. Ah. <laughs> I want this one back. Whoop. There we go. Oh, by, by the way, guys, I, I shaved my head and left my beard. I got a compliment on it at work, but I don't... Is that weird? Um, anyway, <laughs> she got me this, which... I'm not going to try and open that, I suppose, because that is really super taped up. Yeah, I don't want to But it. this is uh, 24 panels of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Soundproof? Soundproof panels. That's right. So those are going to be going up right there behind my uh, my uh, computer on the wall there. It's a little and bit too much though. <laughs> I yeah, I've got double. I've got kind of a mess in here again. I don't know how I always end up with a mess in here. Life. Ugh. Yeah, life kind of gets in the way. Yeah. But um, the most important thing that I have covered here because don't worry about it. I have a phone call from, from Soyfish. Oh, I thought it was my phone. <laughs> Soyfish! Hello, Toy. What's going on, man? Merry Christmas. Boop! <laughs> back an hour later. Alright, we're back. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't even an hour. That was like <laughs> two minutes. Um, I don't like it. Soyfish has computer problems right now, so I, I was just trying to aid him in such a thing. I don't remember quite where I was. Um, I know I had just talked about the soundproofing, which will be going on my wall as soon as I have like a, a panel for it, because I want to glue these Ow. to a panel that I can just screw the panel into the wall rather than have a bunch of adhesive on these and then have to tear them down when I do move. So I'm gonna go panel trout, so I can't use them yet, but this right here is gonna be the pride and joy of the entire thing. And uh, I really want to uh, see it. Let me just, but... just do that and then see if we can't lower that baby down. There you go. Yeah. They perfect. Don't, they don't care about my face. <laughs> it is a triple monitor mount from easymountlcd.com, which actually was purchased on the Amazons.com, but uh, it is sold by this other company. Can we can we dig this person a little bit? Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that in there. All right. <laughs> so right there is basically what the monitor stand is gonna look like. But I'm sure you guys aren't worried about that. You are worried about what it's gonna look like when it's completely set up. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. Bye. All right. We have uh, kind of assembled the monitor mount and there's a big bummer about it she's upset she's working on the return stuff now I'm upset because I just spent an hour and a half ish time putting this thing together if you look trying to line it up you can see 
These two monitors are on the same level. This guy, quite a bit lower. That's uh, way off. This is a four and a half star product out of like 470 reviews. And it still has a defect like this? It's not really cool. Oh, it's yawning. <laughs> Upon further review, the uh, monitor stand, which you can see right there, boop, boop, is uh, perfectly fine. There was a, a little screw guy on top. And then it raises and lowers it. So, I have taken care of that. It is all perfectly even now and symmetrical and wonderful. And it took a lot of effort because I had actually taken the whole thing pretty much apart when I realized that it had the little screw to adjust it. So... I don't think it's perfect. But... That's gonna be my bad. Why don't you think it's perfect? Oh. I feel like it was too much work. I mean, like, I read in the comments that someone... Like, this one guy specifically said it would take a lot of work, but after it was finished, like, it looked really good, but I just didn't realize it was going to take this much work. 477 reviews on it. She sees one that says it takes too much work, and it's not worth it. I don't know. I think it's worth it. Look at it. Just keep your monitors look at your monitor stands. <laughs> just look at it. Uh, let me... Let me just... I mean, unless you like spending three hours to do stuff, but... Like, that looks nice. I'm sorry, I'm installing uh, new NVIDIA drivers here, so stuff's <laughs> been kind of weird. But, like, that... Oh, it's so good. And that base right there, that weighs, like... Heavy. Yeah, it weighs, like, heavy. Like, 100 pounds. Yeah, like, maybe not 100. I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure that weighs, like, at least 15 pounds, though, by itself. No, more than that. I don't know, but that's, like... Be more than that because solid how much are your monitors your weight the monitors are very very light mm. anyway that's installed now all i gotta do is uh get to my lights which uh it's two in the morning so i don't think i'm gonna be doing that tonight but we'll add on a clip after this all right so it's currently the next day and i have good news and i have bad news the good news is that i have my led lights installed the bad news is that i have to do the rest of this vlog standing because if i sit down i can't get up i pulled a muscle in my back so Moving on from there, if you look behind me, you can see I have my keyboard with a rainbow on it. Beautiful. You can see I have my computer case with a rainbow on it. And now I have this remote, which if you look underneath my computer, I also have rainbows on it now. Sorry, I was watching the screen making sure I get everything in the right spot. So I can actually do quite a bit of things with this. Um, right now I have it set to where I can do like red. Yeah, oh, hey, hey, wrong button. Red, red, orange, yep, yellow. Green. I keep hitting the wrong button. Boop, boop, boop. Blue and eh, eh, purple. Beautiful, wonderful. It also has like the spectrum wave dealio that you just saw, which I'm trying to hit the sensor. It's kind of difficult to do from where I'm at. The sensor is right there, kind of hidden. I have it tucked, tucked down underneath here. It's going to get kind of bright for you guys, but I just have them uh, running along the bottom of the desk, and I think they look wonderful. So now all I have left to do is make sure it's focused on my face. Um, install whoop, those guys right there, which is the soundproof paneling. Those are going to be going right here, which means that shelf has to come down, and I have to actually go to Menards before I can install those because, <clears throat> get some more distance here, because I don't actually have a board to uh, place them on. I thought I had a piece of particle board, but I don't know where it is. Just a quick update, and uh, sorry I didn't clue you guys in a little sooner. I started building a, uh, a frame of sorts for the, uh, the sound panels. Oh, hold on a second, let me... Set this guy down somewhere where he will sit straight. And let's just try and flip this around. So basically it's just uh, two 2x4s two on a piece of quarter inch thick birch wood. And uh, can we squeeze through here again? Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Let's just throw this on the table. Oh my god. My back is still hurting, guys, so I'm trying to be a little extra careful with it, but, you know, not the best person to be doing such a thing. 
I am very not careful with all that I do. So let me just show you guys what we got going on. Um, I kind of sized it out weird because of the fact that uh, I only have hand tools, so I didn't really care for it to be absolutely perfect, but this will work nonetheless. And number four. So I got it pretty close. There's kind of how it's going to be laying. These are uh, foot by foot panels and they're only about an inch thick. So, I mean, they, they, they line up pretty much right to the edge on both sides. And then, um, I guess I should check to make sure they're gonna line up perfectly this way as well. Let's grab these guys. Get down here. Pop it in. Pop that guy. And boom. No, okay, so there's a little overhang here. But uh, I kind of intended on that. See how that's just a tiny smidge over? This is, uh, this was not the side that I cut. So it's already going to be a bit over, but I feel like that's not going to matter too much. It's just going to be a little extra room on the sides for, you know, if I feel like painting it later. Because the way that I am going to be doing it is, uh, you can kind of see right here, these I have back and forth, so there's like one on the right side, left, right, left, going all the way up this black line. And then in between each one of those I have another screw hole. And uh, that is where I'm going to be attaching it to my wall. Which, uh, I'm sorry you guys have to see this right now. I have <laughs> completely obliterated, like from, from my doorway, right here all the way in everything is a mess that's because my Smilodon case right there I actually bought a new CPU for it I was going to turn it into uh, an HTPC and that's just a home theater computer and it ended up I don't know what I did I think I fried the motherboard somehow um, I put a stronger CPU in it and I feel like it didn't quite like that too much because it was a really old motherboard so actually, you know what? I've got that right here. Boom. I am saving it, and uh, I will find a new motherboard whoop, or something for it. But that sound panel is going right there in between these two windows, and it's got about four and a half inches or four and a half feet going up and down, and I think it's like 47 inches, so just under four feet going across. Um, spray adhesive to stick those things to the panel. I already talked about that and then I just gotta screw it into the wall. Should be fun with a hurt back. <laughs> well, I'm exhausted and my back is throbbing and um, I'm in the same shirt from last night, but I got it done. It's not the the best work of art in the entire freaking world. You can see there's uh, there's gaps in it somewhere, some places. Oh, hello. Boop. Cable management spot. Um, there's there's gaps in it here and there. There's tiny, tiny little gaps. Like they're not big. They look a lot bigger on the camera than they are in uh, in real life. Like see this this guy right here. That looks so bad because it's like the white board up against the uh, the gray foam. But that gap is like not even the tip of my fingernail in comparison. It's just the way it contrasts on the video, but it's not so bad. I actually, uh, since my monitor stand is, my mount is so heavy, I actually took a spare piece of board, that one right there, and I slid it under here to hold it up so I could do this with uh, not putting any strain on my back the entire time. Um, there is a little spot like here that's uh, kind of whited out. There's that. Uh, another one here, you can kind of see it, again, looks a lot worse on the camera than it does in real life, but uh, that is just where I got a little bit of, whoop, boop, make sure I'm in frame, I got a little bit of the glue on the foam, um, that's kind of what you get using spray adhesive, but I think, <clears throat> I 
think that uh, this Christmas was a good one. So thank you guys so very, very much for watching. You know I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.